What's up guys, I'm here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to check out the tabletop games made by the Odds One Out. See so you guys, as you guys can what's very interesting is that I am actually reacting to a brand new YouTuber called the Odds One Out. And honest guys, let me just first tell you, this guy is just amazing and fantastic. Not quite, definitely for sure, you did guys tell me on Twitter and Instagram that you should actually react to the Odds One Out. So today is actually the day I am actually doing this. And honest guys, I am just super excited because honest guys, you did tell me that this guy does make really good videos. So today is actually day and honest guys, I am just super excited. This is actually my very first reaction video that I'm actually uh, reacting to the odds one out. And honest guys, this is just fantastic. Not quite. Like, I would never thought I would have to do this, but today is actually the day because we know that it's Friday and it's just amazing. I don't know what to say. Definitely for, definitely for sure, we're going to be having an awesome day today. So definitely for sure, I don't know what to say. This guy, he's just so fantastic. Not quite. Like, when I checked out his YouTube channel, honest guys, it was just amazing. And I definitely knew, definitely do know that I do have to react to one of his uh, video and today's actually the day and definitely for sure guys I will definitely make a more uh, videos of the odds one out because honest guys when I checked his YouTube channel once again it was there were so many amazing videos and like I said definitely for sure I will definitely make some more reaction for the reaction videos for the odds one out because honest guys this guy is just fantastic and I don't know what to say this is just gonna be super cool this is my very first time reacting to a uh, the odds one out uh, YouTube video and honest guys this is gonna be so cool not quite. but yeah guys as you guys tell the video that we're actually gonna be reacting to the odds one out is tabletop games so that's honestly cool so i'm probably guessing that there's probably some maybe like board games or like some tabletop games that's gonna that's um happening next like that i'm sure i really don't know what the difference between tabletop or board games is but i do know that tabletop games they're like pretty much like mon like kind of like monopoly or like scramble this game like it's kind of like one of those games so that i'm sure i'm probably guessing that we're actually gonna be seeing how uh the odds one out actually, is actually gonna be playing tabletop games next like i think that for sure the number one uh tabletop top games probably monopoly because i was gonna, we know that it's all about the money and people can kind of get a, a bit aggressive for that necklace so i did actually had some experience on that but most of the time it was kind of um you know a pretty uh like it was a pretty good game necklace so definitely for sure I, i'm not like one of those i didn't see like one of those aggressive people but i did see like a lot of people that were you know fine with that game so honestly i'm happy with that so yeah then for sure we're going to have a lot of fun watching this book i can't wait to actually start this book so why don't we just go ahead and just hop into the book don't forget to subscribe to the odds one out because Odds guys, they do actually make sure they give us like this, and also do subscribe to my channel and the game because you will definitely see some more great odds one out of uh, videos like this. So, if you guys will do that, but let me talk. Let's go check out the odds one out tabletop games. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, looks like we're having a peaceful day. There's the bird, just woke up. <laughs> uh oh, no! oh, Monopoly. Oh, um. Oh my goodness. I'm give money to a criminal. We're already That's at the beginning. Probably. And if they beat you, cut them out of your life forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have fun, you oh guys. Oh my goodness. I... Okay. ...like board games. I guess any game that doesn't involve me getting up and moving around, I'm a huge fan Football. of. Also, since I'm bad at... Jenga? ...everything and don't like playing games against well, someone who's how do you better do that? than me, I really love like oh, the games sad. that don't require any type of skill. That's... Like the game Shoots and Ladders. Which Shoot. just learned today has another name called Snakes and Ladders. Yep. And I'm going to call it that instead, because I'd rather draw oh snakes goodness. than... Shoots. Shoots. In Snakes and Ladders, you have no free <laughs> I would never that game. You're at the mercy of a single dice, and I love it. Oh While my goodness. While I was looking up walkthroughs for Snakes and Ladders, I quickly learned that this game was made for preschoolers, mm -hmm. which is probably why it's so simple. Or yep. how about the game Sorry, which is the most Sorry. unapologetic game I've ever played. Oh. There's some strategy in that game, That's but most hurt. of the time you're just getting revenge on the players Spy. who wronged you. And the creators of Sorry knew this because the tagline of the game is Sorry, <laughs> the game of sweet revenge. Sweet which, revenge. Which, if you think about it, is a pretty funny oxymoron. Uh -huh. Damn. Take this. Ooh. Sorry. How I know that, how what? to play chess, but like most things, I'm not I kind of do know how to play it. Unless I'm playing against someone under the age of 
four, I don't want to play that game. Because oh it shows God. everyone how bad I am at planning ahead. That's a game that's 100% strategy based. It's yeah. like the IQ test of board games. Being IQ someone test. in chess will put you more ahead academically than anyone with a Harvard degree. Damn, and the you'll plumber? get more babes. However, there's one exception. <laughs> oh my that God, that's, is, that's it's okay case. to lose at chess if you're playing against a computer. Even Damn. It's on easy mode. Computers Easy are mode. way better at planning ahead than anyone. Uh, because I don't know how, say but a human made future? a computer that can be oh the goodness. world's best chess player. Oh. But the creator of the computer can't beat the world's best chess player. Oh my so God. I guess that means it's game over. Game we tried over. our best, but we've peaked. Whenever you beat a computer in chess, it was going easy on you. Oh Imagine my goodness. if we made a computer that could beat the world's best snakes and ladders player. Snakes I would pay ladders. money to see a snakes and ladders championship. And everyone oh my watching goodness. knows that the person playing is just some Joe Schmo that Joe acts Schmo. like the world's best snakes and ladders player, wow. but they're all still excited. And there's real snakes that they you can slide down. That would be amazing. Oh Sign my me. goodness. <laughs> While we're on the topic of chess, I want to tell you about this cool sport I discovered called chess boxing. This chess is an boxing. actual competitive sport where two players play chess for three oh my minutes, goodness. <laughs> then box each other for then... three minutes. And they keep switching I'm between not, chess and I'm boxing not even until surprised. someone either gets a checkmate, they run out of time playing chess, or they oh can't the play. I love this sport because it oh combines two polar opposite games, and it's something that anyone can play. Brains over brawn. <laughs> Try saying that after I sucker punch you in the hoe. That oh. was that was a good move. Hmm. I'm gonna punch you so hard in the balls for that. I know oh. I just said I was bad at chess, but if there's any YouTubers who want to challenge me to hey. a chess boxing match, I will gladly take you to the ring, and we can charge people twelve dollars just to watch. And then we can end it in a draw. Oh my you know? goodness. So that way, look bad in front of your fans. So oh my Battleship, God. that's another board game. Battleship. I've also got a big I mean, movie one. based off of it. Oh my I God. haven't seen it, but I hope there's a scene where the captain of the ship goes, men. Fire at D6, D6, and then there's an explosion in the distance, and then Rihanna, who was actually in that movie, says, Sir, the alien sent a message. It says... Aliens? Miss. And the captain goes, hmm. Someone write that down so we don't forget. And then there'll be an explosion at the back of their ship, and alarms start going off, oh and everyone on board starts freaking out, Damn. except for the captain, and he goes, Rihanna, send the aliens a message. Tell them... Also, ask them if they think the oh situation makes a good board game. And if that scene is not in the movie, I hate it. Did anyone else collect a bunch of Pokemon cards, but Pokemon never knew cards. how to play the game? I don't think I met right? a single person who actually knew how I to don't, play the I don't even know how to play it. Which was weird, I just because in high them. school, the card game was just as popular as the video games. Oh my Kids goodness. would always show off their collection of cards and binders, and everyone right? always wanted the highly coveted shiny Charizard card. Oh my god. You know which one I'm talking about. You know which one I'm talking about. I don't even think about. I have that card. You know which one I'm I probably have the EX about. version. Unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, which had dedicated episodes -Oh. explaining why these five pieces of cardboard were expensive, the shiny Charizard was rare, not because it was good in the game, but because everyone agreed that it oh my looked God. cool. But then when you ask someone, hey, do you want to play a game? They would say, okay, I summon my Charizard in attack mode. Does oh anyone even know how to play the Pokemon card game? Nope. I bet none of these guys even know what they're doing. How did this guy win? He didn't even call Uno. I can't be too hard on the Pokemon cards. Oh my cards goodness. Because the card game I Uno. Like is probably way more complicated than Pokemon. I don't even know how to know play sure it. Because, like I said, I don't know how to play the Pokemon card game. But my favorite card game is Neopets. I'm Neopets. just kidding. That was a joke. Kind of. I did actually own a lot of Neopet cards. I don't remember exactly how to play. I do remember you have to so get 21 points to, to win, Pokemon. which got me into playing Blackjack. But it's okay that I don't remember Blackjack. how to play, because no one else is playing this game. I wanted to find wow. some footage of a Neopet TGC championship, only to come to the disappointing realization that no Neopet championship exists, <laughs> no which is sad. So Damn. if there's any YouTubers watching who want to fight my Scorchio, square up. Okay, but for real, Damn. the card game I like the most is Magic Is this guy in jail or something? Factoid, I don't even know. This is my first time watching this. The same company, I don't Wizards of the Coast. Hey, is hmm. that a Monopoly reference? I've been playing Magic since Monopoly. 2007, and back then the game was a lot more simple. Look at some of these more recent cards. Oh first, my see goodness. See how many words are on them? And if we flip them over, they merge into an even bigger card. What? what? If you showed these cards to my 11-year-old self, I would have lost my marbles. My favorite oh my thing goodness. about Magic is when Richard Garfield, I mean Dick Garfield, was first creating the game Richard. in 1993. Oh he didn't my really God. have an accurate way of testing the cards to make sure they're all fair and balanced. And he ended up creating some of the most overpowered cards in Magic. <laughs> and players today refer to these explosions? cards as the Power Nine. Because there were nine really good ones. Hmm. Which is why every single one of them 
is banned. Now, don't Damn. get me wrong. The Power Nine are good cards, but none of them are like, you win the game good. Oh. Take this one, for example, Ancestral Recall. All it says is, draw three cards, or force opponent to draw three cards. Da which what? is stupid that they added that last part. Why would you ever give your opponent three more cards to beat you with? Right? Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, Ridiculous. a slightly better Pot of Greed, which is a card that allows me to draw two <laughs> oh my cards God. from my deck and place them into my hand, is one of the top nine most powerful magic cards? <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Pot of Greed is banned too. Games play such an important role in childhood. And yep. here's what they all teach us. In Magic, if you're really good at what you do, no one will invite you to their tournament. Monopoly, white collar crime Monopoly. is okay. Battle oh my ship, god. Just guess and check. Yep. Snakes and ladders, just you see a ladder, climb it immediately. Just climb it. And no one cares about Neopets. Damn. Now, if you excuse me, I have to show this prison guard my coupon I have that lets me get out of jail anytime I like. <laughs> he was in jail. Wow. And when all is said and done, I thought to myself, what can I do to help strengthen this weekly tradition of family game night? So I decided to create my own game based off one of the most scarring <laughs> events of my kid. childhood. Many of you might recall the traumatic experience my sister and I had with Harry the Moth, and to help me cope, <laughs> I decided to immortalize this memory by turning it into a card game. Introducing Can't Catch Harry. I let my Twitter followers oh decide on the name, and they went with this one, so good job, Can't guys. Catch Here's a Harry. sneak peek of some of the cards. I spent a lot of time working on this game, and I know you're going to like it. Oh, wow. a lot of recognizable characters, like Mr. Poe. Mr. Poe. Mom. Mom Satan. Dem and or Sue si Sandwich Artist. Sandwich artist. We're launching the game on Kickstarter today, so check out the link in the description to get yourself a copy. That's we have cool. reward tiers like holographic cards, golden figurines, and even a custom-made card if you're into that. The reward wow. tiers are only going to be available for 30 days, and given my upload schedule, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you yet <laughs> again, so... Oh. I'll post updates on my Twitter and Instagram. Yep. That's right, I got an Instagram. I'm trying to tell you Let's that, get uh, it. to follow me on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and that's how we're going to segue into the end. Card. There uh, you also, go. But yeah, guys, I'm guessing first of all, should thank you so much for the odd ones out at uh, Tabletop Games. Honestly, this video was just fantastic. Not quite. The very first year, my very first reaction for it, once again, it was just so fantastic. Not quite. But yeah, guys, I'm guessing first of all, once again, thank you so much for the, uh, the odds one out at uh, Tabletop Games. Honestly, this video was just fantastic. Not quite. Hope you guys will definitely subscribe to odds one out because honestly, you do actually make some really good videos like this. And also, do hope subscribe to my channel on again because you will definitely see some more great odd ones out uh, reaction videos very, very soon. Soon. So, guys, we'll do that. But yeah, because I'm guys first. Well, once again, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.